What's the strangest coincidence you've ever personally experienced? My old work ran a secret Santa once the week before Christmas. It was a $10 limit and the person I was buying for I didn't know very well. I left my buying to the last minute because I just didn't know what to get her. So I was in town and walking past some shops when lo and behold, I see an old copy of Oliver Twist in the window of the second-hand bookstore. It just called to me, so I went in and picked it up. I checked the first page for the cost and guess what? $10, perfect. So come the day of the secret Santa, we were all opening our gifts, some 150 people. Out of the corner of my eye I see some people crowding around a woman who is crying. I keep listening and people are calling out for the person who was her Santa. I go over and reveal that it was me. The lady I had bought for was crying and hugged me. She said 10 years ago her house burned down along with all her of possessions. The book that I bought her, was her favorite and also the exact same edition so had the exact same cover she remembered. Because it was a second hand book it was even weathered in the same place as she remembered, so it was as if I'd grabbed the book off her shelf before the fire and delivered it to her 10 years later. Here in my little town in northwest England there's a good kebab shop from which the lads and I have ordered for years. We've been in there after countless nights out and had them deliver to our doors, so we know the guys who work there pretty well. They're mostly Turkish. Once a few of us got together for a short break in Turkey. Having got off the plane, we waited in the car park outside for another pal who'd been on a different flight. As we stood, soaking in the ambience of a new country. None other than the tall guy from our local kebab shop walked across the road right in front of us, 2,000 miles from home. That was weird. Nobody believes me when I tell this story, but one day my husband and I ran into the same couple at three different places, in two different states. So my husband and I had an errand to run out of state. We leave early and stop to get breakfast. The couple was sitting across from us. The lady had on a funky shirt which is why she stuck out in my mind. After breakfast we drive the next state over to the office we have an appointment at. We're waiting in the lobby and the couple from the breakfast joint walks in. Weird. So we spend the day finishing up our errands and then we drive back home. I didn't feel like cooking so we stopped to get some dinner at the pub. We sit down at the table and guess who's already eating at the table behind us? The same friggin couple. was sitting in a restaurant about 200 miles from where I live telling my mother, who was visiting from a different country, about a trip I had to another country, about 6,000 miles away, with a work colleague, and the lady at the table next to us leans over and says I think you're talking about my son. Turns out I was sitting next to my colleague's parents while showing my mum pictures of our trip. In grade 10 English class, the teacher didn't have anything planned for us to do and it was close to the end of the year I guess. So she goes to the big cupboard in the corner and pulls out a stack of copies. It's examples of a successful essay written during a final exam, so we can learn what a good one looks like and how to build a narrative, etc. The topic of these was what was the most pivotal moment of your life? There's three examples, ranging in proficiency. We read through the first two, and I volunteer to read the last one aloud. I start reading and I stop. The essay was about me. My big sister had gotten a really good mark six years earlier on her final exam essay which she wrote about the day I was born. I got pretty emotional about that one. One year I got a roommate through Craigslist. The guy was weird for sure, but good natured and paid rent. Anyway after about two months of living with him my cousin comes over to hang. I introduce the two and my cousin in the most chill voice ever said, nah man, we know each other. Turns out they were college roommates five years earlier in another state. My sister, Emily, was on a ski lift in New Mexico when some younger girl across from her asked if her name was Emily. Apparently the stranger, who kind of looked similar but underage, had found her lost ID the year prior and had been using it for a year to buy alcohol. Was at a convention. There were only a few people in the room. My friend and I wanted an autograph from a voice actor. He started singing in his character voice. There were two random guys next to me. One pulled out a video camera to record it. Years later, my husband and I are talking with friends, and the convention comes up. The guy with the video camera was my husband. I also took a picture later that day of the crowds, and he is in that picture. I stood next to my husband years before I met him. I have an uncommon last name and a not too common first name. 
I was in the hospital for a surgery and the person in the next room was there for the same surgery. Come to find out that we were second cousins and never knew that the other existed. He had the same name as me and his wife had the same name as my wife. The pastor of church where I was musician informed me that a wedding couple would be coming to see me after Sunday services to discuss music for their forthcoming ceremony. It turned out to be a girl I dated in high school that I hadn't seen or heard from since graduation and her fiancé. She remembered my organ playing from back then and already knew what pieces she wanted, I didn't even have to demonstrate. I've had several small world experiences but the biggest was talking to a girl after my first university class and discovering through the course of a two hour long conversation that our grandmothers had been each other's maid of honor and my aunt and her mom were best friends since childhood. Started dating this girl a few weeks ago. We get to talking about where we live etc. She lives in not only the same building but exact same apartment I lived in two years ago. It was so fucking bizarre walking into my old apartment that I never thought I would see again. What are the odds? When I was 18, I lived in a town a very long ways away from where I ended up moving. I struck up a friendship with this guy from work in that town, we play Halo, watch movies, etc., and he was awesome. I ended up moving suddenly due to a family emergency, and never got his contact information. I didn't even remember his name a decade later. But I thought of him often as he was an awesome guy through all the years. Eleven years later, I'm working at my job, carpooling with someone from my training class, and one night he asks if I mind his roommate being in the car as he was going to take the car after we got off at work and use it for the night. He introduces us, I turn around, and in the back seat is the guy from the town a very long ways away. We reconnected immediately, and now live together. He's my best friend, for sure, and the godfather to my children. When I was a kid, around 13, I played a lot of a video game called Diablo 2. I started a clan with a few people I'd met on the internet and we played every day. At some point we were helping some random person and he asked to join. We thought he was nice enough so we let him in. As part of this clan we had a shared account we used to store game items for each other. After about a month of playing this new guy goes in and changes the password, steals the account and defriends everyone. Completely disappears off the map with all of our stuff. Fast forward a year later and my family moves to Texas and it's my first day at school. I'm sitting in algebra class talking to the person in the seat next to me and he mentions he plays Diablo. I said me too and that I ran a clan and everything. I asked his username and it was him. 2000 miles away from where I first virtually met this guy he's sitting next to me in math class. When I told him mine his face went into total shock and he didn't know how to respond. It was awkward for sure. Ended up telling him I didn't care and was over it but we let's just say we didn't end up becoming friends. Last summer, I went to New York with my family for a week. A friend of mine that I hadn't seen since she graduated from college was living and working in New York at the time, so we decided to meet up for drinks. As we were walking through Times Square at 11pm on a Saturday, who did we see on the other side of the street but another friend of ours from college? I knew he had been living in New Jersey but he was in New York for a grinder date. The three of us went to a bar and talked about life and how none of our friends live in Ireland anymore, they've all moved abroad. It was bittersweet and a crazy coincidence that three friends from a small university in Dublin would serendipitously meet in New York City. Went to college, met a cute girl. Where did you go to high school? She asks. You've never heard of it, I reply. I grew up in a town of 1,200 people graduated in a class of about 90. Try me, she says. And that was the beginning of finding out that not only had she heard of it, she had almost attended it because her family had lived in one of the neighboring towns very briefly when she was growing up. We shared dozens of mutual friends, and had apparently spent our young lives narrowly missing each other. Later, after we started dating, we learned that one of our mutual friends had been trying to set us up with each other for years. She was overwhelmed with laughter when she saw that we were finally together completely without her involvement. I asked her to marry me, she said yes. We went out to dinner with our parents so they could finally meet. Her folks arrive at the restaurant and see mine. Her mom goes, oh hey, my dad's name. So this is your son, huh? They had been co-workers years ago. Of course. We've been married for 11 years now. Got a good thing going. We intend to keep it. Got a 
my best friend in high school had the same exact locker combination as me in a school of 1,200 people. Saw a combo written on a piece of paper of his and I asked why he wrote down my combo. He looked confused and said that's his combo. The combination locks are changed and reassigned each year. I don't know if this counts as a coincidence, because it might be influenced by the commonalities between us, but I was reading through one of my dad's old journals and found out that he and I share the same, reoccurring nightmare. The details are basically identical, even down to the frequency of it happening, once a month. It's very trippy.